Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can create this kind of liquid simulations in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description. So now without any further ado let's start today's video. So here you can see I'm using Blender 3.2 nice. So now let's delete the light and camera. So let's delete them. Now select the cube, press one on the keyboard for front view. Press tab to get to edit mode or else you can change it from here. Select the edit mode. Now Z, Z, hold control key and move this so that it sits on this grid. Now you can press tab key to exit that edit mode. So now let's increase the scaling. So press S, X and increase the scaling in X axis. Now again press S, Z to increase the scaling in Z axis. So I think this much is fine. So now let's duplicate this object. So select the object shift plus D. So for this duplicated mesh arrange the origin point. So go to this object set origin origin to geometry. So now we'll get this at the center. Now reduce the scaling S and reduce the scaling here. Now one for front view. Let's see the thickness. So we want this much of thickness. So press S, Z and let's make it so this is going to be thickness so i think this much is fine so now let's increase the thickness of this object so press s y and let's increase the scaling in y axis now for this also let's increase the scaling s y and increase the scaling now let's place this inside this object here like this okay so after that select this main queue which is big one Come to this modifier options, add modifier, add boolean modifier. So let it be set to difference. In object, we need to select this small cube. Select that cube and apply. So now if I select this and if I bring forward, you can see we got this gap here. We want that one. So now let's select this object, press S, Z and reduce the scaling in Z axis a bit. So let's place this here and let's give it a bit. So this much is fine. So now we got some space here. So this will be the space where the complete liquid will be collected. So now let's add a path. So for that we'll be using curves. So go to this add curve, select this path here. So here you can see we got that path. So R Y 90 to rotate in Y axis. So let's place this here and let's bring it front and okay. So now press tab on the keyboard for edit mode or else let's place this at this corner. So let it be here. Press one for front view. Now press tab on the keyboard for edit mode. Now select the last vertex. Press E on the keyboard to extrude and let's create the flow path. So press E to extrude once again E and So here you can see I have created this kind of path here. So let's press tab to exit this edit mode. So now you can see we got this curve. So still this is curve. So select the curve, come to this curve properties, object data properties, come to this geometry options here. Let's increase the depth. So here let's increase the depth to this much. So I think this much is fine. So if you want to edit further, so you can press tab on the keyboard, we'll get this curve points and Press one for front view and let's adjust this here accordingly. So now the shape is looking good. Now we can press tab to exit this edit mode. Now press three on the keyboard for side view. So first we need to convert this into mesh. So this is not a mesh. So let's convert this into mesh. So go to this object being selected this curve. Go to this object convert convert to mesh. So now this is mesh. So now if I press tab on the keyboard, you can see we got the mesh. So press three on the keyboard for side view. So be on this object mode, press three on the keyboard for side view. Now again, go to this edit mode, enable this wireframe. Now select the faces and let's select these faces here. So select all the faces. Now press Z, Y and let's increase this here like this. So that we'll get some extrusion. Now again, press tab to exit this edit mode and let's move to solid viewport. So now we can see we got this much. So let's place this here like this. So press 7 for top view. So let's enable this X-ray vision. 
so if you want to reduce the thickness or this extrusion you can do that so s y and let's reduce this here so i think this much is fine okay okay and disable this extra vision so now select this object which is in the middle come to this modifier options add modifier add boolean modifier let it be difference in object we need to select this pipe shape select that one and apply it so now if i select and if i move forward you can see we got that path so now we can delete this one so select that and delete so here you can see we got this fluid path so now let's start with the fluid simulation process so for that we will be using uv sphere so go to this add mesh select a uv sphere and let's place this just above to this space so press 7 for top view and let's place this here so let's reduce the scaling press s and reduce the scaling here a bit and apply those scale options so apply apply scale and now being selected this uv sphere come to this object quick effects select this quick liquid so now you can see we got this bonding box so this is called domain so the simulation will take place inside this bonding box only so we need to scale this according to our scene so press one for front view so being selected this domain press tab on the keyboard to edit now let's select this below edges press z z and let's bring it here now let's select these edges here so z x and let's place them here now let's select this one z x and ok three for side view and let's increase the scaling so select these edges z y and let it be here So here you can see we have scaled up domain as per the scene. So we can press tab key to exit that edit mode. So now here we need to do some settings in domain. So select the domain, come to this physics property. So resolution increases the quality of this liquid, but higher the number, more time it takes to bake and render. So for this tutorial purpose, I will be leaving this to 64. Now scroll down and make sure all these border collisions are enabled so it will collide with all the edges so now scroll down so we need to enable mesh before do that we need to set a cache folder where it can save all the cache so let me select a folder so here i have selected a folder where the data is saved so simulation i want this to be like 1000 frames so i will change this to 1000 and timeline also i will change this to 1000 so type let it be flow and flow type change this to liquid okay so flow behavior it is by default set to geometry so it will drop the liquid as per the geometry so now if i play this you can see only that much of liquid will be falling down so we want this liquid to be continuously flowing for few frames so for that reason let's change this to inflow so here we don't want this to be complete timeline throughout the timeline flowing throughout the timeline so let's add keyframe for this use flow so enable at the start so here we want this water flow to be till 150 frames so let it be at 150 and add a keyframe here after that we don't want the flow so move one frame forward disable this use flow option and add a keyframe so 1 to 150 frames we will be having a continuous flow after that the flow will stop okay so i think this is fine for that so now let's select this domain scroll down and let's enable this mesh option so without enabling this we won't get the mesh we will have only particles here here you can see so these are the particles right we will get only the particles without enabling this mesh so make sure you enable the mesh here let's be on the first frame enable the mesh okay so we got the mesh enabled so now if we play this you can see the mesh will be or the liquid will be falling down directly without colliding with the shape which we have created so now we need to make this fluid collide with the objects here so in order to make this a colliding particle let's move on to solid viewport select the object come to this fluid enable fluid here so type change it to effector samplings i will increase this to 5 okay and that is fine and also we need to add the same property for this also so select this one come to this physics property add fluid let it be effector collision sampling steps i will increase this to 5 and rest and all is okay 
so i think this is fine so after all these settings were done select the domain so select this domain here scroll down and type change it to all so enable this is resumable option if you want to pass the bake at any time so after that you can click on this bake all button so let's bake this so click on this bake button so here our bake is done so now let's play this so now if i play this you can see we got the liquid simulation flowing throughout the path and after 150 frame the liquid will stop okay so if you don't want this liquid to be like water you can change it so let's free this bake so let's click on this free option so being selected this domain scroll up enable this viscosity and diffusion so if i expand this you can see the values of this base exponent and surface so this is the value of water so if i change this to oil you can see it is changing so let me change the resolution of the domain also so i will change this to 128 so this is the maximum number that my pc can handle so if you have a better pc you can give with higher number so after that you can click on this bake button so this will take time depending upon the resolution you have set so once the baking is done your simulation will be ready so in this way we can create this kind of fluid simulations in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye